Hi, I'm George, and we're working on getting ready to move that nest back there and move it way over there to the house. Now to do that, I need to get an enchantment on my axe, a silk touch enchantment, and for that we need to have an enchanting table. So that's why I have all of that sugarcane back there to make paper and also my cows back there to make leather. So we can make books, turn those into bookcases, and then use those bookcases to power up the enchantment table. Okay, what we need now though are just a few things for the table. We'll need four obsidian and two diamonds and also a book for the top. So we'll collect all of that and then build the enchantment table in this video. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to share and also don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon as well so you'll get notifications. I also do a lot of other videos on my channel. You can take a look at that as well. Okay, let's get to it. The cave where I'm currently mining is way back there where those two beacons are. So it's a long walk. So I'll just pause the video here and I'll get down to where I'm doing the mining and then I'll bring the video right back up again. Okay, here we are and I found a real nice spot down here. A lot of minerals in here. There's some nice redstone dust going on right there. You can use that. It has some coal in here. There was some gold around here someplace that I spotted. In any case, a lot of stuff down here. The main thing though is that here's a nice spot. Oh, there's the gold right back there. I knew I had some. Nice spot for the obsidian because we have this lava lake down here. We're real low at this point. You'll find a lot of minerals. And there's also some diamond right there. So it's a perfect location. I dug this out a while ago. Now to get the diamond out, you can use just a regular iron pickaxe if you want to. We'll just smash away at that. Now we need two diamonds. There's one, two, three. So we have enough. So we're fine on the diamond. Now on the obsidian, we need four of these. Now when you're mining obsidian like this, if it's on a floor, it's a good idea to have some water bucket with you just in case because sometimes this will open up and there's going to be lava underneath. You also need to have a diamond pickaxe to do this. So let's go ahead and we'll bang on this for a little bit and dig out four of these. And as soon as we have our four, then we're all set to go. Okay, there's our first one. Good, and there's no lava right there, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and get our second one again. We don't need that much. We just need just those four pieces. There's two, two more, and then we're all set. Now, you'll also be needing some lapis lazuli eventually, but that's easy to find. You'll find that all over the place as you're digging out other stuff. So you'll come across that. That's not going to be a real problem. Okay, just about done here. It's also be nice if I just stuck some cobblestone or something back into this hole in here so that lava doesn't flow this direction. It's kind of, you know, backfill as we go. But there we go. That's what we needed. We needed to get the diamond. We got that. We got our three diamonds. All we need are two. And we also have our obsidian right there. We needed four obsidian. And there we go. So we're also to go. Didn't even need the water. So that worked out fine. Okay. I'll just go ahead and pause the video again at this point. And I'll do my long hike back up to my location and we'll then assemble this enchantment table. Okay, we're back. Let's now go inside. Okay, just a bit of a hike right around here to the back door. Here we are. And then we'll see what we have to put together for this thing. Okay, here we are inside and there's my current table setup. Now what you need for this, of course, right down here that's where we're going to be using those four obsidian and the two diamonds and one book to build the table. And then in the background, we need to have all of these bookcases. You need to have 15 bookcases around the side for this to work. So what I have is across the back, I have six right there. On this side, I have four. On this side, I have five. There's four and one. And then just to balance things out, I have my crafting table right there. And then, of course, just some lamps and stuff. Now, there's no bookcases in those back corners. There's no reason for that. So all the bookcases that I have are the ones that you see in here. Let's first start off by getting our bookcases set. I'll just make one so you see how this is done. Let's go right here to the crafting table. Right click on that. Now for a bookcase, you're going to need some planks across the top and some planks across the bottom. So you need a whole lot of wood planks, but that's real easy to gather. You're also going to need some books right across the middle. There we are, and that's why we had to make all those books. We need to have 45 books to make all of our bookcases. 
because we have three of these and then 15 bookcases so you need 45 books and there's your bookshelf right there okay now to make the books we covered this in the last video but real fast it's just one leather and then three paper around that and that gives you your book right there okay so that takes care of the bookshelf so I need to make 15 of those and you can then place those around your enchantment table right there now notice how they are one block away that's what you have to have you have to have them just exactly one block away like that and they can be stacked too tall that works just fine so those little things kind of flying in there that's just getting power in here into this and will give the best enchantment so we can get that way you don't need more than 15 if you want to have more than 15 of these books around here it'll look nice but it's not necessary 15 is the magical number for that okay let's now take a look at actually building this bit right here so we'll go back over again here to our crafting table right click on that one now we can use that obsidian that we found and this is pretty easy to make one of these enchanting tables start off with your obsidian and put it right across the bottom row just like that and then put your last one right in the middle so there's the four obsidian let's now put our diamonds in you only need two of these so one on the left and one on the right side just like that there we go there's the basics now all we need is a book on top so we'll take our books and just put one right on top and there we go there's the enchanting table it's really that easy to make you can even see in the picture here the obsidian at the bottom and then the diamonds in the corners just like we have right there okay let's just get this diamond out of the way we'll take that and let's place this down somewhere I'm just going to put it right over here just right there so it's easy to see there we go notice how the book stays closed when you're a little ways away from this thing and as you get closer the book opens up and you can begin to work with it now this is an, an unpowered one if we go back over here to our enchanting table that is inside of our bookcase setup our bookshelf setup click on this one then in here we can do a lot more with that let's just take a look at that difference really quickly let's say I wanted to enchant something in here I'll just take a book put a book right there and you then get these enchantments in here three levels this how that's a power one an efficiency one and an efficiency one so all pretty low in there let's just take that back out again we'll check this powered one back here same thing protection one protection two that's higher sweeping edge three that's a lot higher notice the level requirement is 30 on that one there you go it's that easy to do now to get your enchantments you need to have some lapis lazuli right over here let's go ahead and put that in now it has some right there in that chest there it is let's bring that over here by the books let's go ahead and take a look at our book again I'll put one book right there and for this this one takes one lapis lanzoli and one enchantment level this one takes two and two and this one has a level requirement of 30. now that requirement is an experience level let's just take a fast look at my experience and you can see down there across the bottom that I currently have an experience level of 24 so I'll have to go and grab some more experience in order to get that higher level so there it is that's the basics now you can enchant different tools like let's say I wanted to enchant my axe right there there's an efficiency one efficiency three unbreaking three nothing that I'm looking for for moving the B nest that we're talking about we'll get into that we'll do that one in the next video we'll go through the whole system until we actually get that but you can see in here I can do level one and three in here on the efficiency are two levels right there but I'll have to increase my level right there by six I have to get six more in order to get that unbreaking three let's take a fast look now at the other table over here with nothing around it no bookcases around it let's just put something back up here again efficiency one efficiency one and efficiency one that's all that's available in here so you know not so good now notice that little question mark on the right hand side there you'll actually get the first thing it says up there the efficiency one plus you may get one or two other things as well you're not limited to just that one thing the first one you know you get other ones you may get some surprises in there okay let's go ahead and go back and we'll actually put an enchantment on something back here now you can enchant books if you enchant a book you can then save that enchantment for later if you enchant something else then it's on that tool now notice that these are the same enchantments that we saw last time so these haven't changed you have to 
remove these by using this before you get another set. So let's just put our book back here. I'll take the iron hoe and let's take the lapis lazuli, the first one up here. We'll take that one. And now this hoe has been enchanted with the unbreaking three. And I'll just put that right back there. So there you go. That's how you use the enchanting table. Let's take a look at this again. I closed it down. Let's go back into it again. And I'll put a book back up here and see what we get now. Notice that we now have different things shown up here in the enchantment table. So it's random what shows, but in order to get rid of these three and get a new set, you have to enchant something. So you need to have a few things to enchant and then just cycle through this stuff until you get the one that you're looking for. The reason why you may want to use a book is you can actually save these enchantments into a book and you can then use the book and the anvil and your tool or whatever and then use that to take it from the book and put it into your tool. So you can actually store enchantments in books. Okay, so there you go. That is how to build and then work with an enchanting table. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share as well. Also make sure you subscribe and click on that bell icon. Click it a couple times and you'll get the notifications. I also do a lot of other videos as well, not just Minecraft. You can find out more about that on my channel. Okay, and I'll see you next time.